So now the girls, Barcelona again, uh, Nasut. These are a game for the four to the sixth place. They're also in the triangular. It's um, Barcelona, Nasut, and uh, what's the. Huh. Hold on, I'm missing the one team. <laughs> and Copenhagen, yeah. Barcelona, Nasut and Copenhagen are up to uh, fill in for the places 4, 5th and 6th. And then for 7, 8 and 9 is Firenze, Vienna and the Black Mermaids. So we have t uh, two more, no, three more games, uh, no, one more, uh, two more games left uh, today here. Uh, Barcelona against Nasut yeah, and, and Firenze the, against the Zurich. The, the ten position, pardon, pardon me. Pardon me? Sorry. No problem. Um. All right. So, yes, it's getting late here, uh, but uh, as uh, Levent said here in the in the chat, uh, it's even later in... Uh, um, it's later in uh, Turkey. It's uh, almost 1 o'clock there. So, uh, but uh, probably you can go asleep now. You watch your team winning. So, this is the game Barcelona in blue against uh, from Spain uh, against Nasut uh, from Finland in white. And uh, this is Champions Cup 2016. My name is Wolf. Uh, left to me is Lorena, and right to me is Jörg Otto. And we are the commentators here of the Champions Cup uh, 2016, the biggest competition on the water rugby with uh, 24 teams playing, 14 uh, nations all together. So uh, tomorrow will be the finals then, uh, and we start at 9. Right back in this game here, uh, Nasud is attacking uh, um, Barcelona and going in on the basket, heavily on the basket with... Uh, uh, four, three, three, and four players from uh, uh, left and right of the basket, and front of the basket. They're pushing hard, but they don't succeed in scoring. But now the the space around the under the basket is getting empty, and one uh, uh, Nasu player is trying to push up uh, the butt of the the uh, Spanish player, but didn't succeed. She has to go up, but the bill the ball stays still in the possession of Nasu here, and they push on really hard um, yeah Nasut uh, is um, attacking no, no sorry uh, it's recording the ball and swimming back so that was a nice sequence of attack from Nasut there uh, they 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 have the will to attack and uh, the strength but they didn't score so it uh, even though there was a lot of pressure, and so it was good defense by Barcelona. Now uh, Barcelona is in the middle of the pool, trying to punch through the uh, defense for checking uh, of uh, Nasud. There's a call from the referee, free throw against Barcelona. Thank you, Levent uh, Cavas, for uh, watching uh, the live stream and listening to us. Uh, always a pleasure to uh, have uh, the Turkish teams here uh, and uh, you can be assured um, we're very happy, the rugby community is very happy to have Turkey even in their family and uh, we're looking forward to see a lot uh, from uh, Turkey in the future. Have a good night. So this was a nice attack from, from Nasut and they went in from the open side on the head of the goalkeeper and uh, lifted the head and pushed it in the wall uh, and uh, there was no... Uh, uh I'm surprised, I didn't expect um, to Barcelona to... I mean, I, th I thought that they were quite equal in three minutes in the game and they already got a, a goal. Um, let's see, I mean, that anything can happen uh, still, but uh, Barcelona needs to start getting uh, a bit more consequent in the attack and the swimming. Uh, because we've seen the Nasut uh, uh, women and they are really very uh, consequent and they, they, they fight um, um, hard and, and don't give up. So um, let's see 
what the evening brings. I mean, it's late, so I believe everyone is tired. Um, they played a few games today. Let me see. Barcelona uh, played already. Uh, let me see. Um, one, two. This is the third game, uh, if I'm not uh, wrong counting. Those no fourth. This is the fourth game for Barcelona, and Nasut should be the same. One. So, two. but it's interesting. Uh, I, I see both these and both the teams more Nasut. agile than I saw uh, uh, Castores and uh, uh, Langen before. Interesting. They seem to have uh, seem to be in a higher spirit uh, than uh, Langen and Castores. This is a faster and uh, yes, I mean a bit. Um, got the same impression. Flow. Yeah, there's more, more flow. No, the flow in, uh, in, in, in the game of Castores and, and Langen was the whole. I mean, they were fighting in the surface a lot for the ball. They, they locked the ball many times. Uh, that's why it was not fast. But uh, they are swimming more, and we saw also that the tape the, 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 of, of game that uh, the Finnish girls do is not blocking the ball. They swim, they try to move around, they try to attack. So this is always in. And Anya, yes, Karina is playing. As she's a uh, um, member of Barcelona team, has been for years. But she's playing lit, she's questioning if playing lit. I don't understand lit. Is it a goalkeeper or oh. a defender? Uh, Karina is a defender. No, Karina is playing a goalkeeper in this uh, match. Oh, really? Yep. Okay. But uh, naturally, she's a defender. Now there was... Uh naturally, she's everything, actually. <laughs> 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 she can do everything. So... Uh, Call from the referee, free throw against uh, Barcelona for a little bit more than four minutes left in this uh, first half of uh, Barcelona in blue against Nathut in white. So it's Spain against Finland. You're watching the Champions Cup 2000. Uh, That's Karina on, on, the, on the goal. Uh, 2016 uh, here in uh, Berlin, the biggest uh, tournament in on the water rugby in the world. So Nasut is attacking again. Karina is uh, holding back her goalie down and want to wait for a safer change. They achieved that. They recovered the ball and uh, they're trying to find a free player so that they can swim and uh, get the ball away. That's it. Um, trying to swim a, a, a counter-attack but uh, Nasud doesn't give an inch they really do a good four checking in the middle field mm, but Barcelona keep passing I mean uh, the, the, the game has a nice flow I like it uh, better than the one we saw between Colombia and, and, and Germany there was really too much uh, fighting in, this in, the, in the surface for my taste but sometimes w uh, what we game see here and uh, not a game uh, that's not a money game but of course for them it's yeah. a money game but uh, in, in in the respect uh, of the the, the, the game uh, lang and uh, castores uh, it was it's of much more and yeah much more pressure much more expectation and uh, I think it's good that the lung team can sleep and then over to, uh, recover the yeah. to recover and uh, to think about their strengths yeah. they had shown this today yeah uh, still not not any i mean they, they, they still have a chance they, they were very unlucky in this but what we see in the, the game uh, uh nasut against barcelona is the same proof uh, which we saw in the uh, world championship that the finnish team is uh, basically uh, not so weak no so they are they are concentrated they have the pattern they have uh, um, the good for checking and uh, they try to play the ball they don't go in the clustering uh, they, they they are more faster in that uh, and remember uh, the germany win only one zero in the world championship yes and nasut it, it is the uh, national team yes so uh, call from the referee uh, free throw against uh, nasut um, one minute uh, less than two minutes left here um <coughs> in this uh, first round uh, of uh, Barcelona uh, from Spain against Nasud we have uh, one score uh, that Nasud did early in the game and Barcelona hasn't been able to recover although uh, they are being a little bit more 
in possession of the ball, but they haven't been able to attack Nasu. They have been defending uh, their basket. Now they're fighting the surface, and uh, we can't see much. Who is in possession of the ball? The, uh, the mm, Finnish uh, player got it, but there was two Barcelona players that interfered with the pass, and uh, still fighting. And they really is doing a lot of work in the middle of the field to recover the ball and to not to let the opponent just go through without a fight. And now we have two Barcelona uh, uh, players against three Finnish girls. Um, they're still in possession of the ball, but uh, Nasud make it really difficult for Barcelona to attack uh, and to score. Uh, right now uh, we have a fight on the ball. Uh, have two, three uh, Barcelona players that are trying to um, swim towards uh, the basket of Finland, but they have not been able to really generate the kind of pressure to break the defend. I mean, they are still too far away uh, from the goalie. Um, and if the goalie is like resting on the basket, then no pressure there, and then they are more stable and difficult to score. Let's see, they move uh, a little bit farther away from the basket than the middle of the pool. And um, I can't see who has the ball. But it's only two seconds left in the first half. Yeah. One and over three minutes break now. So uh, um, uh, still it's 1-0 uh, for Nasut. It's not decided. Um, Barcelona is, uh, is under pressure to score here. But I think they are quite able to, if they... Uh, push hard enough uh, to equalize or even to win this game. Let's see. It is 11.15. We started early this morning at 8 and we will be ready maybe at midnight uh, or even later. So 16 hours sitting here. Um, thanks, York, also for being with us and... and uh <laughs> So the <laughs> that's great. I mean, I, it's so much fun uh, to do uh, these uh, comments, but it's it's a lot of work, and it's. Uh, and uh, the thing tiring. is, uh, uh, we we try to stay in the games. Uh, we don't uh, succeed uh, all the time. We we, <laughs> we miss a couple of goals. And yeah, <laughs> we're we we're not always that focused. But uh, when we do too many interviews right here on the live stream. Uh, we will uh, lose the focus totally on the games and we try to stay here. I mean, family is watching, friends are watching, and they want to know, you know, what's going yeah, on exactly. in the games that's more uh, than... Yeah, exactly. That's what we heard. Uh, uh, even though the stories uh, from the interviews are quite interesting for hardcore players, but uh, a lot of the people watching want to have uh, information. stupid stories, no problem. <laughs> I have no doubt about that, but we can do a, a special uh, channel just for you, Jörg. It's just we for call I'm it here just for entertaining the people. Ah. You explain, uh, explain what you see and I'm doing the intelligent uh, we, we can entertainment. We can create your own channel, Jörg. We can call it Let's Talk About Underwater Rugby History. The fossils uh, speaking. The no, the I'm the still the active channel. as a coach with a lot uh, of experience. Okay, so we call it uh, the underwater rugby history until now channel. Or whatever you want to call. Okay, something. I think about a name. I do. I, I, I will. I will be creative to, <laughs> to. Uh, I let you know what I come up with. <sighs> you know, as a free uh, a freelance journalist, um, I spend a lot of time texting, so uh, shouldn't be a problem here. So, so whatever's your preference, that's, that's fine for me. Really? Yes. That was that was nice of you. Thank you. Yes, I can be the I'm nice guy. That was yes, so you too. I cannot so recognize charming. you. What happened to you guys? <laughs> <laughs> we, 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 we opened our, our inner self to each other. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm very open-minded. I'm eager to learn something new. I and I'm eager to that, teach. That, that's a... <laughs> Yeah, if you have something you really to teach, I'm happy <laughs> for this. <laughs> I will but uh, the question is when you start. <laughs> Never. <laughs> it's it's <laughs> long life learning. <laughs> okay. okay, we are in the second Barcelona half of the game. Barcelona got the uh, starting ball. They're swimming toward Nasut. And there's something... Already called from the referee. But this is a... Uh, it looks like a really fast game. Uh, is it just my impression or... Uh, are both teams really wide awake here in the water, even though it's for both of them the fourth game of the day. 
but uh, they don't look exhausted. And uh, Barcelona. Uh, it is the third for Nasut and fourth for Barcelona. Ah, okay. I think so they Barcelona both might be a little bit more exhausted. But I was talking to one of the Barcelona players, and they were very uh, happy about the results, and uh, you know, mentioned that how how much they prosper and they grow, they they grew in the last uh, years, and um, that they always won the, the the national league in Spain, and that the men is the first time in the Champions Cup, but they also you know did a very big uh, jump uh, in the development of the team, and uh, yeah, they were talking about. It, so that's happy. nice. That that that's good because uh, I think uh, um, to everybody can uh, take something out of uh, playing on the on the Champions Cup. And we see here now a, a counter attack from Barcelona, but she, uh, the the player stopped uh, was stopped by a, a offense uh, for checking uh, from Nasut, and they stole the ball away, and uh, now tackled by. Uh, 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 two uh, Barcelona players, but we don't see in this game. That's why, because probably why it's uh, faster or it looks faster. There is not much clustering on the surface. Uh, they keep the ball flowing. Both teams try to play free and have a lot of uh, playing stations. And Nasud is going now with a lot of uh, might into the defense from the close, now from the open side uh, into the the goalkeeper. But uh, um, th several waves don't succeed. In, uh, uh, in scoring, this is the, the sixth, the fifth wave coming down, the sixth, seventh wave uh, from the close side. It's back and forth. And even though uh, Barcelona does its best to interfere and be in the way, they're just always a little step behind the attack of Nasud. And, uh, but still, uh, Nasud doesn't succeed. And we have now the counter attack from uh, uh, Spain, from Barcelona and stopped uh, at least uh, three meters from the Nasut goal. Another Spanish player takes over. We're closer now to the goal in the middle of the pool at the bottom. And uh, now there's only one second player is coming down, uh, playing back into the pool, uh, open pool area, coming from the close side of the wall. So uh, you see there's a lot of action here in this game. Uh, now there's a cluster uh, in the corner of the close side of the Nasut uh, basket. Um, but this is a very intense, uh, very uh, open and fast played game you of these two teams. You know what I want to mention? I really love that the Finnish girl had the numbers in the in the Finns. Finns that, could be, yes. that could be, you know, a, a cheaper um, solution, solution yeah. for the uh, T-shirt printing information on the uh, swimming suit or T-shirt for the men. They should it have it on both sides, I think. Uh, you only see it on the on the back side, yeah. but it uh, would be cool on both sides. And it's uh, easier to paint on the fiberglass fins than on these uh, rubber yes. fins like yeah, the Stratos true. or the Nayade. Um, I think I couldn't glue anything to my Nayade uh, fins. Uh, but nevertheless, it would be a good solution. That's true. That's totally true. So uh, we have a skirmish and a, a cluster in the middle of the pool. Uh, Barcelona breaks free and is now on attack from the close side on the uh, same level as uh, the goalkeeper from Nasud, uh, but don't succeed. Another second attack coming in on the same height. The, she tries to swim over the goalkeeper. There's a call from the referee, too hard playing, two minutes for a Nasu player now. Uh, over hard playing, don't know what happened, but uh, uh, in this case, having two minutes, it must have been a kick. <coughs> so, uh, timeout from Nasut and two minutes penalty uh, for Nasut for a rough playing. Timeout for the Finnish players. And it's still 1-0. Uh, Nasud had the game pretty much under control, but still they shouldn't relax uh, because Barcelona is, is fighting hard. And now if they're going to be five in the water, they need to really decide uh, a very def good defending tactic so that they can hold for those two minutes because those are going to be crucial and Barcelona needs to uh, really use this uh, chance to score because it might be the only possibility. Um, 14, 13 seconds timeout. Uh, 
let's see. I mean, Nasut has been uh, doing a great defense, uh, so I don't think. Uh, I think they should. Um, they, they, sh they, they should be able to establish two minutes, but also Barcelona has been uh, improving their game and building up a little bit more, and and right now uh, have a, a bigger chance. So Nasut needs to be very con concentrate and focus. Um, because a small mistake uh, could uh, end on a score for Barcelona. So, let's see, here we go. Five uh, minutes left and uh, there is still time for Barcelona, especially if they are in ball control and able to attack uh, the Nasut uh, basket. And uh, Nasut is playing uh, with five uh, players in the water. So, uh, this is a quite dangerous situation, but this... Uh, pass was directly in the hands of the goalkeeper who broke free with the ball but the ball was recovered uh, as far as I can see on the close side in the corner by Barcelona and <coughs> they tried to build up a uh, attack pattern but uh well they're fighting in the surface and I understand that maybe they're not two players They'd rather have the ball in the surface and, and hope for the time to go by uh, they still have one more minute to go until their player can jump into the pool again and they're fully beset. Uh, mm, uh, <laughs> uh, full strength, full they are in full strength. In full strength. Uh, so now they're, uh, they have five players and they're in a counter-attack. So Barcelona needs to improve this. I mean, this shouldn't be uh, happening right now. Um... So and, and look, there, Barcelona needs to be more aggressive. I mean, Nasut is just killing the time by swimming, you know, very clever. They are in possession of the ball. They don't take a risk. And Barcelona and they shouldn't force, let the yeah, ballon. And, and, and they and are close recover. enough to the goal uh, of Barcelona to force them the in the defense. Should, uh, yeah, so they only have to take care of uh, 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 two four checkers uh, here on the wall side of the pool. And Barcelona don't have that kind of time. I mean, they should have, look, they should have been, you know, on the mm, finished basket. And Nasud with five players was attacking. And right now, that's the end of the two minutes. So Nasud is full uh, now with uh, six players. Now Barcelona take the time out. Uh, they didn't, it's a pity. They didn't play that situation really uh, right. Oh, that was a quick pull-out help from all the players. Huh. So timeout, uh, still uh, 30 seconds here. And uh, we have still one more game to go after this uh, game. Uh, Barcelona against uh, Nasud. Uh, that will, this will be uh, uh, Firenze against uh, Zurich. Last game of the day. The men, Firenze men against uh, Zurich men. Oh, sorry. Ow. Yeah, so you wake up. <laughs> no, no. Uh, if I hit the microphone, it's it's uh, it hurts the ears. Thank you. So, let's see. Barcelona, you have uh, less than three minutes. You are on the right side of the field, but you still not being able to get closer to the goalie. Um. So, two minutes uh, 30 left uh, for Barcelona uh, to equalize and at least have a chance to go in the penalties. But uh, as far as the game is developing right now, uh, I don't see them uh, um, uh, scoring and never say never because they are attacking uh, very good but they are attacking for the last uh, 10 minutes, 8 minutes now and didn't score and Nasud um, uh, was able to uh, uh, recover the ball and uh, to go for the uh, uh, basket of uh, We have two players of, of Nasud Barcelona. and they are on the goalie of Barcelona and uh, they are doing a lot of pressure from the back, uh, but uh, the Barcelona girls successfully defend. But Nasut, mm, let's see, he almost tried to, 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 to steal the, the, the ball from uh, 
Barcelona, but uh, they're fighting now on the surface. One and a half minutes left. Time is running. It's running out. See you tomorrow. And uh, now uh, one minute twenty. If they could get free of that ball, if they could swim a counterattack and uh, arrive on time, still <laughs> time for a miracle. Uh, this, I think uh, this is this is the point where Barcelona th should uh, throw in everything they have uh, uh, in direction of the Nasut uh, basket because uh, they, they nothing they, nothing more can happen to them than losing this game and if they do stay in this uh, 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 um, game like this they will lose it in uh, 45 seconds but if they go with everything they have. Uh, to the Nasset uh, basket for the last time, that probably could open a chance for them to equalize and at least uh, to have the penalties. But uh, the time is ticking, 30 seconds, so I think uh, that's it for Barcelona. Uh, well played for both teams. Uh, uh yeah. It, it was a it was really uh, 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 surprising game for me this late in the evening uh, with both teams having a lot of uh, uh, games already on their shoulders. So, nine, eight, seven, uh, six, clock is ticking down, three seconds, that's it. NASA did win against Barcelona, Four well done of both zero. teams. F congratulations to NASA, one, zero, and uh, now we are starting the last game of the day, the game number three. 30 Zurich against Firenze. These teams are playing for the places 9 to the 12th place. And um, yes. So, yeah, we are in the break uh, and. Uh, this will be the last uh, game of the day, so people are already leaving uh, uh, the pool area. Um, it's a uh, funny uh, uh, fact, uh, Firenze men is playing the last game of the day and Firenze women is pl are playing the first game um, of the day tomorrow, of the last day tomorrow. So Firenze first and last and always. So. Um, tomorrow we start uh, uh, the Champions Cup uh, at 9 o'clock with the first game. Like I said, uh, it will be um, Firenze females against uh, Vienna. And uh, uh, the, the second game uh, of the day will be UWARC uh, USA against uh, Vienna men. And uh, yeah, after that we tell you tomorrow which uh, teams we will have uh, in the water. Um, quite exciting game today, exciting uh, day uh, here in Berlin. Um, we had uh, uh, the game Bamberg uh, uh, against uh, huh, Ege. Was it Bamberg against Ege? We had the game uh, Bamberg against uh, Orcas. Um, yeah, Molde against uh, Orcas, uh, sorry. Um, 